Carol Danvers, prodigal child of the Milky Way. Nick Fury. My favorite one-eyed man of intrigue. How goes it out there? Uh, you know, cold, no air, space. Captain Marvel. The Annihilator. You took everything from me. And now I'm returning the favor. our light-based powers, so we switch places whenever we use them. Strong theory. You can absorb light. I can see it. And Kamala. Who's Kamala? Hi. She can turn light into physical matter, which I have never heard of. I could totally show you. No! targeting every planet we call home. I would never choose to bring anybody into this. You are not the only thing standing between this and the universe. Oh my god, we're a team. Higher. Further. Faster. Can you? I got it. When the war started, they protected me. Took better care of me than humans would have. They're not people, Maya. It's just programming. Ten years ago today, the artificial intelligence created to protect us detonated a nuclear warhead in Los Angeles. This is a fight for our very existence. Sergeant Taylor, we are this close to winning the war. But the AI are developing a super weapon. Retrieve it. Or they win. Yeah, it's just a kid. Are you going to heaven? No. You gotta be a good person to go to heaven. So, we're the same. We can't go to heaven, because you're not good. And I'm not a person. Do you have any idea what the thing is? She looks like a little girl now, but she's growing. Whoever has that kid wins the war. Side you want, huh? What do you want, sweetie? For robots to be free. Oh, we don't have that in the fridge. How about ice cream? <laughs> What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh, shut you? up! I'm not missing my race. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Don't sit in my dad's car. Ah! Yes, we're not going to jail! <laughs> oh, crap. 
Listen, son. You think you're gonna play a stupid video game about cars and you're gonna become a race car driver? All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. I'm doing it. The ten of you are the best. Gran Turismo players in the world. Now is your chance to race real cars. This is insane. It's not gonna work. The guys who race are elite athletes. Your kids are scrawny little gamer kids. That's where you come in. Hmm. So you think you can do the impossible. I'm here to prove that you can't. You get tired, you get sloppy, you get sloppy, you get hurt, and you lose races! <laughs> You puked on my lawn. I know what I'm doing. I'm not afraid. I've raced this track a thousand times in the game. Let me drive it my way. That was actually pretty great. We have a newcomer this year. His presence is shaking the foundation of the sport. This is the major leagues. The other drivers, your pit crew are going to hate you. Much easier with a joystick, isn't it? <laughs> I can't see anything! I'm not sure if I can do this. Most people can't. I got a feeling you're not most people. If I lose, I lose more than just a race. So I'm not gonna quit. You've gotta prove to everyone that you belong. You've raced it, what, like a thousand times? Now you just gotta do it in real life. Gran Turismo, based on a true story. But I won't stop now. Hercule Poirot, I've found something. I've looked at it from every which way. I am the smartest person I ever met, and I can't figure it out, so I came to the second. You are up to something, my friend. I've seen a million of these so-called psychics, each one a fake. I do not believe in psychics. Come with me to a seance. Spot the car and I can't. Detective, you are here to discredit me, but I can talk to the dead. I'd give all I have to hear my daughter's voice. If someone wants to be heard, we are here. Listening. until I know who did it. A ghost killed her. There must be a rational answer for all of this. Just admit that you are up against something bigger than you. No! You were saying... Something in this house tried to kill me. Don't look at me like I'm a suspect. We're old friends. Every murderer is somebody's old friend. No one shall leave until I find if the living have been killed by the dead. You have been hiding here all this time. Who are you talking to? When my son and I moved in here, it wasn't as warm as we hoped. Ah! Hey, I'm gonna light a vanilla candle, and it's gonna be a game changer. And after midnight, the house comes alive. This place is haunted! We need your help. It's time to assemble the dream team. We find someone who can communicate with these ghosts. People used to eat here. I don't 
told you she's good. Uh, it's a dining room. I found a professor who else wanted mansions. I've been dying to go to this place for years. Mystery lurks around every corner. I summon Madame Leota! I can show you what happened, but it will cost you. Three dollars. What? Mom. It's highway robbery. Who said that? You're not that scary. You're really not. You're pretty terrifying. Can you turn it around just while I finish this? Thank you. Guys, is anybody else seeing this? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. If we don't solve this mystery, <laughs> we're stuck here for eternity. <laughs> You're all in for a treat. No, no, no. <laughs> no! Oh, come on. You look so beautiful, Barbie. Thanks, Barbie. I feel so beautiful. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki. All of the Bobbies is pretty. All of the Bobbies is bad. Get in! You know what? We should probably get Ken first. Ken isn't something we're worried about. What? This one is for the boys. I cried too, it's actually kind of amazing. I used to float, now I just fall down. I used to know, but I'm not sure now what I was made for. Okay, here I go. From Illumination, the creators of Minions. <laughs> Migration trailer starts now. Maybe we should go say hi. Hey there. Dax talked to a girl. A girl? He wants to marry her. What? I didn't say that. You said it with your eyes. What? He's hitting me! He's hitting me! They must be migrating. Migration? What a stupid idea. Okay, you're impossible. Because I found a safe place for us to live. I want us to get out and see the world. What sort of father would I be if I put my young fowl in harm's way for no reason except a chance at a Caribbean vacation? I don't want to miss out on life because you're afraid to leave this pond. Here we go. Tail for the torsion. Check. Wing deployment. Check. Let's fly. The sun is shining through with just a cloud. Birds heading this way. What is this place? <laughs> I promise adventure, and this is exactly what I promised. What is that? Duck 
stuck on a wrong. We're stuck on a wrong. It's you with Larange on top. to do it in the sky now. We have a number two situation. Oh. But it's gross. Every bird does it in the sky. What if someone is looking down there? No one is looking down there. I told you we are not landing. There is no way we're landing. Are you sure no one's watching? Wayne Mallard, do it now or we leave without you. Okay, okay. We are completely lost. We're trying to get to Jamaica. Hello, lovebirds. It's this way. Whoa, well, we are not flying through this crazy death trap of a city. Just stick close to me and everything will be all right. <gasps> I'm okay. Yeah, no, I'm okay. We can do this. Ha uh, ha! <laughs> you missed, but... <clears throat> Maybe you don't stick too close. In a time of ancient gods and demons, one hero is the bravest, most epic, most spectacularific, amazing to fall. Wait a minute. Are you sure this is a word? It's a word. Most spectacularific, you know what? I'm not saying that. Oh, man. <sighs> Fine. I'll do it myself. <clears throat> Names? Monkey King! This here is Stick, my trusty companion. This old geezer once told me, You don't belong here, outsider! Uh -huh. And he was right! I don't belong here. I belong with the immortal one. He never accept you. I'll become legendary and they'll have to accept me! You'd have to defeat a hundred demons to even get their attention! One hundred demons coming up! Uh -huh. Hero, please, the beast is outside. I shall devour you. Hey, Red Girl, leave these poor, unattractive people alone. Ah, he's incredible. He saved our town. Sort of. Woo! Monkey King! I offer my skills as your humble assistant. Hard pass. Please. I just want to do big things someday, like you. Fine. Yeah, I said fine. Try to keep up. That monkey is the mightiest, fiercest rebel. With the best style. What a guy. <laughs> oh, no. Any other comments? Not me. Mm -mm, nope. I am the mighty dragon king. Suffer my wrath. Supposed to be lightning first. And there it is. I can beat that thing. Maybe defeating everyone isn't the answer. Maybe. It's helping other people. Come on, Stick! The world needs us! Monkey King reigns supreme! You are crazy! And handsome, if you're gonna be critical, be fair. Monkey King! Monkey King! Man, that's really catchy. Detention, sir. Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. Every year at Barton Academy, students, faculty, and staff depart the campus for a two-week winter break. But there are always an unfortunate few who have nowhere to go for the holidays. They're known as the holdovers. Mr. Hunnam. Hello, Mary. I heard you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? You know, he used to be a student, right? Yeah, that's why he knows how to inflict maximum pain on us. Oh. I thought all the Nazis were hiding in Argentina. Stifle it, Tully. You just earned yourself a detention, sir. Being here with you is already one big detention. Son of a bitch, that's another detention! Do you think I want to be babysitting you? No, I was praying your mother would pick up the phone or your father would arrive in a helicopter or a flying saucer. My father's to take dead. You don't tell a boy that's been left behind at Christmas that nobody wants him? What's wrong with you? There's nobody here, okay? So you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Let me sleep 
Now most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers too. You know that, right? I find the world a bitter and complicated place, and it seems to feel the same way about me. I think you and I have this in common. I don't think I've ever had a real family Christmas like this before. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. History is not simply the study of the past, it is an explanation of the present. See, when you say it that way, and throw in some pornography, it's a lot easier to understand. <laughs> no matter what you are. I'd like to propose a toast to my two unlikely companions. Are you trying to lick down my shirt? No. <laughs> yes. You're gonna get me fired. This is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. The Holdovers. I am Dr. Nandor Fodor, the world's foremost parapsychologist. I am not a skeptic. This is the strangest case I have ever encountered. A family living in a farmhouse claim a talking mongoose lives in their barn. The creature's name is Jeff. What do you think about them? A talking mongoose. The Irving family are peculiar. Did you observe this creature? No. No. I did hear it. We are going to the Isle of Man. I have almost 20 years of research in this field. You're here to see Jeff. Is the creature here? Well, because we can't see him, doesn't mean he ain't here. I see. The daughter is a ventriloquist. Dr. Fodor has a tremendous skepticism. Indeed. This is an inexplicable farce. I'd say the wee rascal's probably watching us right now. Everybody on this island has their Jeff story. Tell me yours. You and I both know there ain't no Jeff. Can you tell him to come out so we can see him? Is that him there? What is the Irving's motive? They don't strike me as con artists. We hear with our eyes as much as we do our ears. These people are lying. I think he exists. I'm certain of it. Just show yourself. I mean you no harm. Please. Jeff! Just show me that you're real. Dr. Fodor, there's a call for you. This from him. H Hello? Tomorrow, tomorrow, I shall let you see me. A town knows its secrets. A town knows how to hide them, too. She sleeps with the worms under the ground. Is that outside? Don't make a sound. Maddie knocks nine times. Maddie, Maddie knocks, knocks nine, nine times. times. Don't answer, answer your door. door. Close all your blinds. Hide under, under your, your bed. bed. Or she'll take off your head. head. <laughs> I thought that was just an old ghost story. Where do you think those stories come from? I don't know. Maybe she's still alive. Ah! We have to tell someone. We should call the cops. What the hell is going on here? How come it? You can't be. What are you doing here? Burn the witch! Burn the witch! 